Hey, my fellow millennials, it's probably been a whole week since some news publication or some media publication has put out an article letting you guys know how worthless and incompetent um, you are at life and adulting and careers. So the Daily Caller put out an article uh, just reminding you how incompetent and how much of a baby you are. <laughs> this article is titled, Millennials Are So Helpless, they're taking adulting classes to learn how to do things like sew a button. Now, here's what I think is kind of funny about this, right? The the media, the Daily Caller, the newspapers, you know, it seems like if there is a slow news cycle uh, and there's nothing else to write, they're like, hey, let, let's write an article either, either shitting on millennials and talking about how stupid they are or talking about how much debt Americans are in and how they don't have anything saved. You know, those seem to be the, the two kind of go-to articles. But what I kind of find kind of funny about this is you know the, these publications love to make these articles about how stupid and helpless and immature and entitled uh, millennials are. Yet here we have an example of millennials who weren't taught skills that, quite frankly, their parents or the education system should have taught them. So this is the same generation making fun of us for this are the ones who are kind of the reason for this. Um, but uh, yeah, they're, now they're making fun of millennials who are trying to learn adulting skills and trying to learn skills and improve themselves and putting out effort uh, to be better people and, and just kind of be better adults. And now they get made fun of for that. So millennials can't win, right? You, you're helpless. And when you try to do something, people make fun of you for trying to do something. Uh, I, I think this is probably for a couple of reasons. First off, um, you know, this isn't the 1950s where Ward, Cle or Ward Cleaver is the husband, right? Where whatever Ward Cleaver's wife. Um, this, this isn't the 1950s where Miss Cleaver is kind of teaching the kids how to bake a casserole and how to make lasagna and, and how to how to sew a button on your shirt. You know, in, in our, the millennials generation, a lot of our parents uh, were either single parents, two parent working homes. Uh, you know, you didn't have a parent home teaching you every little thing about uh, life and balancing a checkbook and sewing on a button and all these things. I think that's part of it. And I think the other part of it is helicopter parents, right? There's a lot of helicopter parents who are way too involved in their kids' lives and who, you know, are doing, you know, there's moms who are doing their kids' laundry until they're 25 years old and then they move out on their own and they don't know how to do their laundry. They don't know how to wash dishes. They don't know how to do uh, kind of basic things to to run a household. So, uh, you know, I just kind of thought this article was kind of funny. We, we see these about every week, every week and a half or so, whenever there's, there's a bit of a slow news cycle. Uh, this one comes from the Daily Caller and it's titled, Millennials are so helpless, they're taking adulting classes to learn how to do things like sew a button. Now, um, you know, at the time, when I was in middle school, we took home ec class. And at the time, I thought it was stupid. Me and a lot of my friends, I'm sure we, we gave the teacher hell and, and kind of caused a ruckus in the class. And we thought it was kind of stupid. But I, I will say, you know, even though I don't really remember that class in depth, I'm sure there's skills from that class that, that have come to benefit me. And, and one example is... Uh, when I was in college, I started a business making beanbag toss games or cornhole toss games, you know, like the, the games you see at barbecues uh, where you toss the bags onto the boards. And, and you know, I know how to work with, with wood. Uh, that's what she said. Uh, but I know how to work with wood. So, you know, I, I could make the games. I could make the boards. Uh, but I... I didn't really know how to sew the bags, or right? at least I didn't think I did. So I was actually having to buy the bags from a local woman who made them and sold them. And I think I was paying 25 bucks for a set of bags. Um, and it was really cutting into my profit margins. And at some point, I think I realized, you know, back in home ec class, they had to sew like a little six by six pillow. And a beanbag toss bag is essentially a little six by six pillow made of duck cloth uh, with just animal feed corn inside of it. So I was like, you know, I think I could probably do this. So I, I wound up going to Farm and Fleet. I bought some animal feed, uh, went to Joanne Fabrics and bought some, you know, duck cloth and figured out how to sew my own beanbag toss games. And instead of paying somebody 25 bucks per set of bags, um, I could make my own for probably a dollar or two. And I could include those, uh, include those and make more money for myself. So that, that, that was awesome. Uh, and knowing how to sew actually kind of came in handy. Uh, well, I figure well, for this uh, for this video, we'll kind of take a look at this little article uh, as well as this short video that the uh, the Daisy, Daily Caller has, and see what types of things um, millennials are learning as far as adulting skills. Millennials are so helpless; they're taking adulting classes to learn how to do things like sew a button, remove a cork without a corkscrew, and how to cut bangs. No, I'm not kidding. Adulting classes are a real thing and they're becoming more popular nationwide. You know, just one thing, this this could be a, a business opportunity. You know, any, anytime there's a demand in the market for something, there's an opportunity to make money. And if millennials truly are um, 
not only bad at adulting, but are looking to improve in some of those areas, you know, maybe you could, uh, you know, rent a space or borrow a space from, from some existing business, maybe from a, a, a company who runs like, I know in, in my city, there's, uh, you know, sewing classes for, you know, young people and things like that. Maybe you could, uh, you know, cut them in on your profits, uh, let them allow you to kind of lease the space in the evenings. And maybe you could do adulting classes uh, there and, you know, teach people how to sew buttons. Or maybe you could put together uh, some type of, you know, ebook or digital course on, you know, 100 adulting skills that you weren't taught by your parents. You know, there, there could be a, a money making opportunity here. You may know one, millennials lacking life skills like cooking, budgeting, or time management. It's an issue, and now some of them are signing up for classes designed to teach them those basics. There's now adulting classes in a couple mm -hmm. states teaching millennials <laughs> like you, you know, basic skills. In Queens, New York, 29-year-old Elena Tamaris says she's finally learning skills she wishes she'd been taught years ago. I don't know, I was so used to, like, when I was living at home, my mom always cooking, and me just doing simple things. I'm not trying to trash my fellow millennials, but is this really necessary? I didn't take any adulting classes in person or online. I just did things the old fashioned way. I got a job and I moved out of my parents' house when I was 18. Then I just figured things out on my own. But seriously though, how did prior generations survive without these classes? You know, I think prior generations were, were taught these things by their parents. I think it's kind of funny that the same, uh, you know, what I would assume is kind of the same generation of people making fun of millennials are the same ones responsible for millennials being how they are. I'm by no means a Susie homemaker, not even close. So I'm not totally judging. I'm sure if I took these classes, I could learn a few things from them. So what basic life and social skills are young people lacking today? Well, according to adultingschool.com, some young Okay, so it looks like somebody already uh, already latched on to, to that business idea, adultingschool.com. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to check that site out, see what, see what that's all about. People need help with things like learning how to manage money, work advice, do-it-yourself projects, wellness, lifestyle, and relationships. And, you know, I think this is uh, actually a pretty valuable service. You know, I, we talk, I was just listening to Joe Rogan the other day, and he had uh, Killer, Killer Mike on there. Um, and Killer Mike is, you know, former rapper. Now he's kind of a, a conservative, real big on, on kind of gun rights. Uh, but he talks a lot about, you know, the schools don't teach practical skills. You know, the schools teach a lot of nonsense that we're never going to use, but they don't teach things like the home buying process, how to buy a home, how financing works, how to balance a checkbook. Uh, how to invest your money, you know, a lot of these really, really basic life skills. So, uh, you know, that, I don't know, that just kind of popped in my head. That was something from the other day that I thought was kind of interesting. Apparently, breaking up with a significant other via text is a no-no. People can sign up to participate in these classes in person, or they can take them online. And there are some free videos on YouTube. So just for fun, let's see if I can pass the test. How to sew a button. How about you guys? Do you know how to sew a button? Try to drop a comment down below and let me know. I, I, I could sew a button if I had to. Admit, I'm not a professional at this. I've done it a couple times. It usually doesn't come out perfectly, but I'll try again. According to this video, you're supposed to make some My buttons buttons. aren't going to be pretty, but they'll, they'll stay on. And you just uh, go back and forth. It doesn't really seem that complicated. And as you can see, uh, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. Usually I would just take this to the seamstress or when I take a jacket to the dry cleaners, I would have them fix it there. How to remove a cork without a corkscrew. So I've never been in this situation before, but this is... You know, I actually ran into the situation the other day. <laughs> my, my, my solution was to uh, take a nail and a dime and just pound the cork into the bottle, but we'll, we'll see how they do it interesting and good information to know. If you don't have a corkscrew, you can make your own at home. So all you need is a hammer, a screw, a screwdriver, and maybe a little strength. Yeah, this this isn't easy. You know what, if somebody doesn't have a corkscrew, what do you think the chances are that they're gonna have a screw and a hammer? And maybe I'm just not strong enough to do this, but I'm probably gonna give up on this one. So, um, I could maybe use a few more classes on how to remove a cork without a corkscrew. And how to cut your own bangs. This, this one seems unnecessary. I think people should leave their, uh, leave their hair alone. I'm not gonna do that. But the big question is, why? Why is this an issue today? Experts are blaming millennials' lack of basic life skills on the fact that young adults aren't leaving the nest. 
The U.S. Census Bureau reports more than one in three Americans between 18 and 34 still lives with a parent. So this makes sense. But what's up with parents? Young people need to grow up. If they're going to live at home, at least make them learn the basics and teach them how to be in. Okay, so let's see. The article goes on to say some millennials lack basic life skills, so much so that they are signing up for adulting classes. According to reports, adulting classes are growing in popularity nationwide. Uh, young people learn things like how to sew buttons, chop vegetables, and how to effectively communicate with others. Is this really necessary? Well, I laughed out loud at first when I heard about the classes. I discovered quickly that even an independent millennial like me could use some help in the adulting department. Uh, let's see, American Censor. Okay, so yeah, kind of a short article there. Uh, I'm curious to, to hear from you guys. On, on a scale from 1 to 10, where do you think you score on adulting and, and kind of how, knowing how to do things like uh, laundry, cook, sew a button, you know, balance your checkbook, all that kind of stuff. Uh, were you taught it as a kid? Where did you learn these things from? Uh, but yeah, you know, I always think these articles are funny. It's it's, it's probably been a, a week since we had a, another <laughs> millennial trashing article, um, and this one popped up. But I thought it was kind of interesting. I also thought it could potentially present a business opportunity uh, to some of you guys who maybe are really good at adulting. Maybe you do know how to sew buttons, and you know how to cook, and you know how to do whatever else. Uh, YouTube is a great place to share that knowledge, or I forget the website that they mentioned. Uh, I'll, I'll find it later and link it down in the description box below. But it seems like somebody has created a website with uh, a set of, of like digital courses on how to adult. So uh, let me know your thoughts on this article. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button down below. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video, guys.